Okay, so there's roughly 17 million developers uh, in the world, and when people ask Steve, how many of those developers do you want to get using Famous, he'll quickly reply, 50 million. So uh, any of you with a strong math skills that uh, uh, may be wondering how that math adds up, the answer is it doesn't. Even if you're on your third or fourth beer by now, it still doesn't. Uh, what we want to do is we want to get a whole new group of people to start coding. And as we become more global and as we become more connected, people are going to speak more languages. And we think one of those languages is going to be uh, JavaScript. And to reach those 50 million people, we need to partner uh, with companies like App Machine, who's going to make the building of apps available to a group of people that aren't normally developers. Um, App Machine is an unbelievable product that brings uh, together developers and non-developers in a way that is just simply amazing. And I could tell you more about it, but why don't I just welcome to the stage Sebrin Dykstra, who is the CEO of App Machine. Thank you for coming. Hey, hi, Sebrin. Larry. And he's going to show you a tool that is uh, absolutely incredible. Um, and he's using Famous to break down traditional barriers to app creation. So. Take it away, Sibrand. Okay, thank you. Uh, welcome, everybody. I am uh, Sibrand Dijkstra. I am the father and the founder of App Machine, an Amsterdam-based uh, company. And um, according to Malcolm Gladwell, it takes 10,000 hours to be an expert. When I sold my last company, I coded for 54,000 hours. So according to Malcolm, I must be an expert at least at something. I thought I was an expert at coding. But actually, I'm an expert at plumbing. Connecting objects to objects, classes to classes, encapsulating codes in prefab blocks. That's what we all do, right? We're plumbers. So at least that's what I did for the last three decades. So actually, we were just like playing with Lego, only we were uh, the, we did the wiring with code instead of clicking the blocks together. So, suppose we would create a system where we enable the ordinary mortal people to just grab some Legos, click them together, and create these gorgeous apps and raise these mortals to the divine developer level. That would be great. That was my mission. So, I created this machine. This is the app machine. The app machine is running at Amazon, and it's really fast, and it's amazing. It's able to spit out apps in only a few minutes. So the app machine is based on big functional blocks. With a few settings, you get a lot of functionality. We created lots of blocks for you, with a shitload of functionality. Blocks for socials, for photos, videos. If you want to connect uh, data sources to uh, Excel, uh, drag in web services, uh, or even if you are a divine developer, you can add your own code, create your own blocks. So we have this front end, this app CMS. This is how the source code looks. It's just a pile of Lego blocks. And with the right settings, you get gorgeous apps. So we started this company three years ago. And we deliver native apps, native iOS, native Android, and native Windows Phone. And no, HTML was not an option. We were looking for gorgeous, good-looking, fancy, fast apps. HTML was not an option. So I preached for years native. And I had a very successful job until there was famous. I think I have to find a new church, seriously. So it was this day in November 2012 that I discovered this website. You all saw it. And it had this incredible promise of rendering 60 frames a second in the browser. Unbelievable. Really, I knew this was going to change the world. So every day I returned to this website, pressing the refresh button, pressing the refresh button. We all did it. <laughs> Nothing happened. So it took more than a year. It was late November that there was this little video on YouTube with some famous people showing off uh, a mobile app, a gorgeous, good-looking, fast mobile app. So we looked at the video for 15 times, and guess what? We discovered this URL inside. 
So we went to the URL, and there it was. The demo was online. So most of the developers at App Machine went for Christmas holiday, but a few started decompiling the heavily obfuscated demo version. And after a few days, we were able to identify more than five uh, parameters to the scroll view. Weeha! Yes, it was possible. We could use it. So in January, we scaled up our team, and uh, we got eight uh, developers just building on this new famous integration in App Machine. A few months later, we sent over our team to uh, the Famous Labs, and we worked back to back with the developers of Famous, making sure that these apps that we build are even more beautiful than the native apps, because we want to build gorgeous apps. So imagine, I have this famous, incredible 3D physics engine, and this extreme power. And imagine if we put this extreme power in this machine, we would really enable the ordinary mortals to build extreme apps. And that's exactly what we do. So what I'd like you to show is how you build a complete app without code snippets, without doing any coding. And I'm going to show you an incredible, famous app. And I'm sure everybody can build it when I'm ready. So this is our uh, interface. If you uh, program for three decades, you're going to need these. So, and I have a mouse, yes. So this is our uh, uh, um, uh, CMS where you can build the apps. I'm going to build an app for Armin van Buren. Yeah. So, um, arminvanburen.com. So, what we do over here, we send a crawler to your website. We help you already starting gathering the assets of your app. Most information is already online. So, your Facebook, your socials, your videos, RSS feeds. We just look at your website for interesting assets that we can already use creating your app. And it's a little magic. So, it's taking a while. But I found enough. So there's this Armin van Buren Facebook feed that I like. And there's Twitter. And there is a YouTube video channel. And an RSS feed. So next, it allows me to select a skin. And we have lots of, uh, lots of skins over here. Uh, it's just a design. You can change every pixel, every transition afterwards. It's just to give you a little head start. So, Congrats, my app is ready. Here to the left, you see the source code of my app, the Lego blocks. And to the right, you see a real iPhone in the browser. So to the left, I can select the Lego blocks. And as soon as you select it, you see them over here. And uh, this is uh, the Twitter feed of Armin van Buren. And we implemented uh, the header uh, decently. And uh, here is his um, uh, YouTube channel with uh, the videos inside, and you see they run pretty smooth. And um, it, is, it is a real iPhone. We don't, we're not showing HTML. We're showing you here an iPhone running. We render eight frames a second, so we don't kill your uh, bandwidth, uh, giving you 100 frames a second in the, in the browser. But it's a live experience. So everything you build is live. So over here, you can add functionality. And we've got lots of functionality, a, a lot of blocks. And uh, here is a photo uh, block, for example. And those photo blocks have data sources, lots of data sources. So let's go back to this Facebook, Armin van Buren. You just type in the name, and there's the magic. Oh, only 8 million likes. OK. And um, you um, uh, add the block in your source code. And over here, you have uh, the list of albums. And inside, you have the photos. It's all in there. And reorganizing your source code is as easy as uh, dragging over here. Uh, in the design of your app, you've got lots of functionality. So if you say, I want to have four icons, uh, you get it four icons. And if you want to have it three rows, you get it three rows. So it's all uh, live. Other nice thing to do, if you look at the more professionals, and that's uh, where you guys come in, 
We only have a few blocks, but they're really powerful. Creating your own list, creating your own screen, uh, adding your own JavaScript block to uh, your app, talking to web services, or even Excel. I mean Excel, it's database tool number one in the world, still. So uh, what we can do, I can upload an Excel file. Let's see, I have this list of speakers over here. This is a typical Excel database, a name, a job title, uh, a biography. There are some companies inside and an agenda. A typical worksheet. You open it, uh, it gets uploaded to our system. It's really fast, it's analyzing uh, and it's uh, transforming the Excel into tables. Actually, a document store on the back end that's accessible with an API for you uh, developer guys. So, um, let's add the speakers over here. The speaker information to the right is immediately uploaded to the phone. In the middle you see the canvas where you can uh, design your app and to the left you see the data that's available. So by dragging this image that we had a, as a URL in Excel, we will immediately resolve it over here as um, a list of uh, photos. A job title over here and we're ready. We added two blocks, a list and a detail screen. So for the detail screen over here, this is just a dump of the data, let's see. Let's put a photo inside and a name over here and a biography. Well, the photo has to be a bit bigger. Here we go. And the name, thank you. Uh, make it a bit uh, larger, center it and save. Here we go. I can browse now through the detail screens of this app. So this is playing, playing with the, the data. Thank you. Um, uh, next step is for you uh, developers, uh, you can create your own blocks or uh, we have this uh, block store coming up where you can create blocks for the ordinary mortal people and enable uh, them to use your divine developer things. So we all saw this uh, Flappy Bird uh, example and the nice thing is we're able to encapsulate your code inside of the block. The code can't make any trouble with other blocks that are in there. No, no conflicts in libraries. Uh, we seal them completely. And uh, you see in this, this app that I'm just creating, uh, you see my own uh, Flappy Bird. I'm a bad player, so I uh, modify the code a little bit to fly over. <laughs> That's easier. But um, to, to, to show, oh, okay, five points. But to show you the power, I'm just in my app. And um, so that's nice what you can do. You see this little switch over here and it says native. Here's where my uh, search for a new church uh, began. This is where we can switch from a native view to a famous view. So you see the same ma main menu, but you see there's a bit more interaction. You can drag around uh, the icons if you want and they will find their way back. It's just a little physics that we added to the icon menu. And the list is still working, so here you see the same Twitter, only now is it, it's famous. So if you go to the design of the app, we uh, made the, uh, the famous Ferrari engine available for the users. Here is this famous area, and here you can do a few transitions, like from screen to screen, item to item, or in the data list. Let me show you. So I have this screen over here, and I'd like to do uh, some sort of an animation. Let's see if coming in from the right, faster, and let's rotate this a little, yes, and this one the other way around. So I think this is a nice transition for me to have in my app. Um, and let's look at the data list. This is a list of data, but with these sliders we, ena we enable the users to play around and slide uh, the, uh, the list of data. Uh, let's play with the other axis and the slide over here, make it a little fade. Well, this looks good to me for my uh, data list. So when I now go back to uh, this Twitter list, it's the same tweets, only when I browse the tweets, you see, and uh, for the record, this is HTML, what you're looking at. So if I grab my speakers over here, uh, you see the same speakers, um, only uh, uh, we, we browse them in a different way. And here you can uh, browse uh, the speakers and you see what I just built. I didn't time it, but I think I was pretty fast in building uh, a complete functional app. And instead of going to the app stores, what we did with the native apps, we provide a URL 
and uh, we call it, uh, we're not going to call it HTML5, we're going to call it famous. So that's what we do, building famous apps. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen. So when you see a, uh, a company like App Machine pushing the boundaries and moving the needle of uh, JavaScript for everybody forward, I mean, it's just absolutely inspirational. Um, we're happy to be working with Seaburn and his amazing team. Um, they're from Amsterdam, if you didn't pick up the Dutch accent. Uh, and they've set up shop in famous labs uh, to help reimagine what web technologies can do. And I work with these guys almost every day. And Seaburn, is your team, are you guys still in the back corner there? Raise your hands. We've got like five or six of them here. This is a group of some of the most badass JavaScript engineers you're ever going to meet. Um, their work is just absolutely incredible. Um, they'll have a booth um, right by the front uh, entry door here. Make sure and talk to Sebrin, his COO, Fleur, and introduce yourself to those JavaScript developers. They're, they're pretty, pretty incredible. <laughs>